Finkel and, and that whole Wilder team to be very easy to deal with. Very easy. Very straightforward, straight people. You're never going to meet straighter, straightforward businessmen ever. Very straight. How long has this been the plan for? It's been in the plan for uh, what has been the plan to fight. No, it was in the talks. How long have they been started? Like, you're, you're literally talking a couple of days. And... Yeah. Right. Okay. So, you've got your job to do on August the 18th. I think he's got a mandatory Dominic Brazil, or yeah. a voluntary, wherever it is. So, providing we both get through our fights, then we'll be fighting. Is all you need is one more fight before you jump in with Wilder? One, two, ten, does it really make a difference? Oh, you tell me, I don't know, is it? Well, I only had um, a one fight before I fought Klitschko, being hammer in February, then I've watched Klitschko till the end of November, so... But you didn't, you didn't have a two and a half year gap, though? Yeah, but unfortunately I did have a, nearly a two year gap because I only had the one fight in 18 months when I fought Joey Abel and I fought Chisora, didn't I? True. So I only had three fights in, in as many years going into the Glitchco fight. Inactive. Very inactive. You know that's something that um, most people have said about Al Heyman? Well, not most people. Everybody involved in boxing has never had anything bad to say about Al Heyman. And the fact that as a fight promoter, easily one of the most influential people in boxing, if not the most powerful person in boxing. The fact that you never see this guy's face, you only hear his name. The fact that as a promoter, you never see his face. That is, that is proof to me that this guy knows what he's doing, he knows how to handle fighters, and every time he handles a fighter, he clearly does his job to the utmost standard. I mean... How many times have we seen Eddie Hearn? How many times have we seen Don King, Mayweather, so on, so forth? The list goes on and on, man. I, I like promoters who have this Frank Warren-like style of being up front, you know? Because I've never been into the optics of, you know, the show. I've always been focused on the fight. And Al Heyman seems to be making these fights happen, man. If Tyson Fury is really honest about this, and this fight is really going to happen. Al Heyman's about performance, my guy. He's not about hype. He's not about popularity. He's simply about performance. And shout out to Al Heyman, man. Shout out to IFL TV, but shout out to Al Heyman. He's he's bringing together the fight that... I, I want to say the fight that boxing diehards want to see. Because clearly the Wilder, Wilder Joshua thing isn't going to happen. Joshua, Joshua is the biggest thing in boxing. And when you become the biggest thing in a sport, when you become the superstar in a sport, when you become the alpha, alpha in a sport, you don't want to tumble back down to the floor. So everything has to be assessed with three combs. The money comb, the relevance comb, and how it makes you look comb. Hence why he's fighting Povetkin. Now, I'm not saying Povetkin's an easy fight. Povetkin is a very dangerous fight, but I will say this, given the optics of Povetkin and Joshua, Povetkin lost to a guy that Joshua beat, that, that statement alone proves to me that he might have a mental edge going into this Povetkin fight and it's probably going to win it, you see, so shout out to al Heyman, man shout out to al Heyman for bringing these titans together i want to see this fight man and i really hope it's gonna happen because i'm kind of sick of eddie Hearn, man i'm really getting sick of him because we've seen this kind of thing from like don king it's not new we've seen it from dana white it's not new it's annoying eh, promoters man let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe and I am out. See that? See that? That's just the wrong way to look at it. Because Joe had his time. And Omar put an end to that. Then Marlo had his time, short as it was. And the police put an end to that. And now, motherfucker, it's our time. Mine's and yours. But instead of just shutting up and kicking in, you're going to stand there crying that back in the day shit. Jeez. There ain't no back in the day, nigga. Ain't no nostalgia to this shit here. There's just the street and the game and what happened here today. Right.
When it was my uncle, I was with my uncle. When it was Marlo, I was with him. But now, nigga, what the fuck you do that for? Now we short the nine. That was for Joe. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. Lizzo, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart. Next